know who you think is going to win the series, tweet hashtag C9Win or hashtag TLWin to at LOL Esports, and we'll see. We get five hard leash resets on well, those wolves. Sneaky's left class. lane, sneaky left lane as well, so he's not getting AD carry CS. They're gonna have to stick this oh fight, and they God. really want to come out with kills. The 3v3 starts just three minutes oh in. High makes it a 4v3. Quas is very hurt. Flashes are down left and right, but that flash Nobody. gets everybody Whoa. in the right position. A three minute kills. pop. They get two. They're gonna start with a third. They did not expect this, and Team Liquid is on the back foot three minutes in. Game five. Hitting, keeping it right in front of his turret. So yes, the early global gold does spike back up a little bit there for Team Liquid due to the turret, but dragon buff taken, lane down bottom still frozen. Just had to sneeze on it one last time. Oh, bottom lane, Sneaky, that's the ignite down on Quas, him. A great what? teleport from Quas's oh Bell Shield. My. Wait, okay, he did down the arcade him. smash. Touchdown, Sabling picks up that kill, and it is going to be the 3v2 now. Very low health Five. bars, and Ball's going a little too hard on this one. Lemon Nation doesn't even want to get too close. Onslaught of Shadows for defense, and the anchor toss wow, the turret Quas. as well. Time the Dragon, make their play bottom at the same time, so trade turrets. Uh, nobody goes down, but coming out with the added benefits. And Dragon is available. Or do Canyon. too much after tape taking that turret in the top oh, lane. No. Oh, wait a minute. They decide to go off the turret. The objective is now Quas. Cut down the tree, get a little bit more gold, and it looks like they will do so. Turret went down during that fight as well. Back in the game. This oh, time Hector they funneled Mysterio. into the corridor. They're in the corridor, but they're going through it. Missed the hook, but they still want to fight. High gets popped up. He can't really do much just yet in the fight, and he's still getting knocked around, only throwing Qs in. It doesn't matter. This front line is huge from Cloud9. Oh. Dropping Dominate, Quas, and Phoenix. There's really no assist to come now for a special. A triple kill for Balls, and more than 100 CS up now. He is going to be. Four, no. Credit where credit's due. Lamination and that Nautilus pick. Yeah. Level one. He was fighting a one-man <laughs> war. Opponents to group up and then just smash you. Oh, they're going for him. They're trying to smash Kobe. Smash indeed. Oh, Here frozen comes tomb Hecrum. for himself. That's the tomb he will lie in. Nope. What? Phoenix there he is. got that kill for himself. Quas with the opening to make those picks here as they get some clears down. Now onto Quas. This is what they could get if High has enough damage to cancel it out along with balls. They do, and it goes over to High. This Aaron control. Yeah. So oh, right now, Team Liquid Piglet. has to check. Oh, he is caught out. The crush in. What can Meteos do across the wall? He's got Piglet on the back line. Phoenix already flashed out and defensively used Wild Growth on himself. And Balls now in the middle, just spinning around like a helicopter. Quas taking a bunch of damage. Expecial is now soloed out there. And Cloud9 has the chance to look left and right in this fight and decide who they want. It's just that easy for him right now. Whoa, he smites the wolf. He's alive. He is. Oh, he missed the wall, though. But that gives Phoenix a little bit more time outside the base which is going to give Cloud almost objective-esque. When Hecarim comes flying through, he's like a big human equalizer. You can't stand in the way. You don't want to be there. And he can kind of do the same thing and be very disruptive. Oh, there it is. Oh, just on the edge there. I'm pretty sure Pix got hit by that anchor. Phoenix getting out. The wild growth goes down, and they're going to try to keep this fight going. Balls on the back line. So tanky. A 3v1. Yeah. He can still take down Piglet, <laughs> and he takes him in for lunch. Meteos going to be helping to get that oh, one with Sneaky. Balls gets out alive somehow in this fight with the Spirit of the Dread heal and the potion that he popped. I retract my previous statement. You should, sir. Uh, not three people, <laughs> but four people are required to take down the Hecarim. Holy moly. And you never know, the more gold he gets, the more people it takes to take him down. Big special. He's forced to watch. The timer is given to them, but it is that evil. of oh. shots from Sneaky. <laughs> this may be Team Liquid's last stand. There it is, Jat. You called it. Righteous Glory goes down. Hecromalt has not been used yet. However, as he flies to the back line, Piglet, 75% damage immediately. But they got to watch out for the Nexus turrets, destroying Hecarim. those resistances. Meteos is now under it. But they're able to clean house. And it looks like they are going to be able to take game five. The reverse sweep for Cloud9 as the base is open. The base is there and they persevered after losing two straight games. Liquid is still trying to put their foot down for the last push here at Cloud9. They're going to be able to do only so little before Cloud9 finishes that last Nexus turret. Even the Nexus turrets could not keep balls away from zoning <laughs> Piglet right there. 5-0-7, Hecarim. The Nexus is about to fall. Cloud9 coming back with three straight wins. The champion select of Game 3 being a huge boon for them and playing on the mentality of Team Liquid. Cloud9 take down Team Liquid to move on.
what a series between Cloud9 and Team Liquid right here. The upset potential from Team Liquid was very real, taking the first two games of the series. Team Liquid coming into the playoffs as the sixth seed, nearly making the finals. Three chances to take down Cloud9, and they still fall short. Wow. Speechless in that game to see the same result. Once again, Cloud9 moves on. <laughs> Team Liquid takes their spot. And we will see now, will Cloud9 face Team Solo Mid or Impulse tomorrow? We can see quite dejected looks from Team Liquid after so much work, persevering through a season that showed them probably some of the most trouble of any team and able to come out very strong when it counted. But in the end, it's not even a too little too late. It's just they couldn't find that right moment for couldn't themselves. Couldn't finish. Yeah, they just couldn't finish. Because they had what it took. Phoenix, very strong point for the team. At times, the backbone of what was going on during the compositions, along with Dominate and the executions there. Definitely a higher ceiling than what we've seen for Liquid. And Cloud9 now to look to climb as well to their ceiling as they move on. It's going to be difficult, yep. very difficult Guaranteed. indeed. It's been a strong League of Legends North American Championship Series split. Guaranteed top two finish for Cloud9 despite all the difficulties they have gone through as well from week to week, looking terrible versus looking like they're back in form. And yet another finals. Yeah. They made their way there. It's getting Ooh. tougher and tougher for them. <laughs> I couldn't get much tougher than this. Size of relief left and right. Smiles on the faces now, but definitely a game they're going to have to go back yeah, we'll and watch. Out. Not very glaring mistakes came out of those first two games as Team Liquid took their wins. So definitely something Cloud9 should look at as they move on to their next game. Ball's very happy. Those hacker room picks, oh my word, really put an impact on the game. You could tell they heavily valued hacker rooms. So as much. did Team Liquid. It's something you always have to keep in mind, especially for scouting information. You know, Cloud9 will play the winner of tomorrow's match between Team Impulse and TSM. And we know that Cloud9 does tend to get a little bit predictable with their picks here, but on a new patch with two weeks off coming into this series, you didn't know exactly what they were going right. to bring. They have a lot of work in the next two weeks. A lot Cloud9 of have a lot of work. A lot of things that can change. A lot of things we didn't even see. We've seen TP Smite everywhere. We didn't even get a game to that today. So these are things <laughs> teams can bring out every maybe day. Next, yeah. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I'm ready. Maybe I'm tomorrow. Ready. But yeah, these guys went straight.